Hey guys, it's Hannah here. Today we're doing my tutorial for the Ride or Die tag. We are starting with the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. So I just take about a pea sized amount of the primer and then just rub it all over my face. Then for foundation, we are using the MAC Pro Longwear Foundation and the Cover Effects Custom Cover Drops. So I take three pumps of the MAC foundation on the back of my hand. I've got to always mix up the custom cover drops so the pigment sometimes can settle at the bottom. So mix that up and just popping a little bit of that, maybe one to two drops on the back of my hand in with the foundation and it just mix it together on the back of my hand then we're just going to go in and dot it all over my face I like to dot it on just because it gets most of the product off my hand and then using a brush to just distribute it evenly all over my face and making sure everything kind of everywhere's got some product and then next there's no lines and using the beauty blender just to make sure there's no streaks everything's just really even and there's no patching or anything like that now i'm going in with the fresh sugar lip balm this is the clear original I just like popping this on straight after foundation to really just prep my lips for the lip products coming on later in the tutorial and I do this every day. Then we're going in for under eyes with the Bobbi Brown Extra Light Peach Corrector. I'm using my Sigma P84 Angled Kabuki Brush just to get right in around that tear duct and all over the eye area. Always got to blend it with a beauty sponge. Next, I'm going in with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I use the shade Light Warm. Um, and we're just going in with the Hollywood V or um, like just a little triangle underneath the eye. And then anywhere else where I need a little bit of extra coverage so around my nose and a few little blemishes showing through this concealer is like my perfect shade at the moment so I'm just taking my ring finger to just blend that all out making sure to get on the eyelid for a good base for the eyeshadow so there's no veining or anything showing through and then obviously just going with my beauty blender pick up any excess product just really press it all into the skin um, we don't want no cakey under eyes, no creases. I'm going to go set my face. I'm using the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural in the shade Light. I'm using a Sephora powder brush just to press that all over to set my foundation. I just prefer to use a pressing motion than a swirling motion. I just find it kind of sets everything rather and it doesn't move any products underneath the skin. For my under eyes, I'm using the NARS Translucent Crystal Light Reflecting Powder on a damp beauty blender. I just find that when I use a damp beauty blender to set my under eyes, it just kind of melds everything together really seamlessly. It doesn't make it feel dry at all and doesn't get kind of crepey. I find if I use a brush, sometimes it gets a little bit crepey. I don't know. Let me know your secrets for setting the under eyes in the comments below. Moving on to brows, I'm using the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. I see brushing through my brows first to make sure they're always all going in the right way and then filling them in. This pencil's great because it does have that more diamond thicker pencil so it's really quick and easy just to fill the brows in because I do have thicker brows but obviously one brow always behaves better than the other. So just make sure you're adding product and then brushing it through depending on and how you like your brows. Obviously, one brow is behaving better than the other. 
we'll see when <laughs> I get to get you doing the eyeshadow. Next we're using the Chi Chi Fiber Brows in taupe. I like this just to set my brows in place. It does have the fibers to actually grab and add volume. Um, and then brush it through with a clean spoolie. Oh, yeah. I brush my eyebrows so many times. Face. I, I just, I Moving on to eyes, we're using so the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. I'm just going to press that all over my eyelids, making sure they get right into the inner corner so that all my eyeshadows stay on longer, blend better, and just look more vibrant. And blend that all in with a beauty blender because that's what I do. Obviously, for eyeshadows today, we're using my Ride or Die palette, the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. I love this palette so much. Obviously, it's in the Ride or Die tag for a reason. First things first, we're going to take white chocolate on a flat shader brush and just set the soft ochre, making sure it gets right under the brow bone to the lid. Then we are going in with salted caramel through the transition of the eye. I love this color. It's just kind of a matte, warm brown. And we just do lots of back and forth sweeping motions. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Obviously didn't trim this video a bit, but hey. I start at the outer corner of the eye and just work it in. I do prefer more of a cat eye look with my eyeshadow. So I do want it a little bit higher on the outer corner. And then just blending kind of in to nothingness. Always adding more product as you go along. I like to flick off the excess of my brush. I'm using a Sigma E35, I think. And just going along the edges to really buff it out so it's just there's no harsh lines and it's just all melding smoothly together I like that really kind of blended blown out eyeshadow look it's just what i prefer on my eyes so i really want to make sure everything's blended together nice and seamlessly next we are going in with cherry cordial and this is on the sigma e 30, I think it is, and that's just going above where I popped salted caramel, just a little bit higher on the top of the transition, and then blending out with the E35 again. I'm using this to just add a little bit of that warmth and kind of burgundy color to the transition. I just really like that those two colors blended together. Then we are going to mix Cherry Cordial again in with Semi Sweet. Obviously, I can't keep my palette in focus. And we're just going to pack this on the outer corner of the eye. This is a Sigma E25. Just press the color onto the outer corner slightly into the crease. And then, of course, blending with the Sigma E35. This is my favorite blending brush. It just makes everything blend together seamlessly. Dusting off the fallout with my Real Technique setting brush. Now we're going in with Triple Fudge, and this is on a Miraness eyeshadow brush. It's like a tapered pencil brush, and I'm just going right into the socket there to add some depth right on the outer corner. It's definitely a color you can build up, Triple Fudge, and then blending with a clean brush. Always blending, blending, blending. Right. Now we are going in with marzipan. This is the beautiful kind of rose, goldy, champagne colour and popping that on the inner kind of half of the eyelid. Blending that in. Then we are going in with champagne truffle. This is the best colour for highlighting the inner corners. It's got like a pinky blue duochrome to it, so it just adds a lot of brightness to the eyes. For the lower lash line, we are going in with Amaretto on the Miraness tapered eyeshadow brush again. I love this for doing detailed work because it's fluffy but 
it's quite small so you can blend it out as well as place colour. And this amaretto colour is just this really nice burgundy. And it make the like purple to make brown eyes pop, so I love using that. Blending with the Red Technique setting brush and adding a little more champagne truffle to brighten again. Now we're using Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. I love this eyeliner so much. Just going and lining my upper lash line and doing a little bit of a wing. Obviously, wings take forever to get precise, so <laughs> sped this up quite quickly for you guys. I can never do wings in focus of the camera because I just need to be too close to the mirror because we all know I'm pretty blind. So just touching up my concealer, making sure everything is perfect. Going in with my Tarte Lash Curler and giving my lashes a good curl. I kind of pump it and work my way out and up on both of my eyes. What is your mascara without some curled eyelashes? Okay, now we're going in with mascara. This is the Clinique High Impact Mascara. It's just the one I have open at the moment. I do find it gives reasonable volume. You do have to build it up quite a bit, but it's a really nice mascara. Um, don't know if it really is high impact, but it's a really nice natural mascara. Um, doesn't smudge or anything like that. Now moving on to cheeks, we're going in with Benefits Cooler. And I'm just going to go in with a Chi Chi Tapered Powder Brush to bronze up the face. Just going around the perimeter of the face. And I'm also going to use this to contour on a Real Techniques contour brush just underneath the cheekbones. Chisel me some cheekbones. For blush, we are going in with Tarte Exposed. And this is the Up and Up from Target US, the blush brush. I just really like this blush brush. I find it just blends really easily. It was really cheap as well. So if you're in America, definitely have a look at the Target, the up and up range of brushes. They're very good brushes there. And this blush just gives the most subtle glow to the skin. That little bit of pop just goes with everything. Highlight, I'm going in with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Light Scapade on another Real Techniques contour brush. I just pop this on the tops of the cheekbones. It gives a pow glow to the skin. I'm just going to blend all that cheek together with the blush brush again. So we are on to lips. We're using the Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liner in East and Snob. I just fill my whole lip in with the lip liner. It's really easy because of that slanted tip to just cover the full lip. Then going in with the Urban Decay Matte Revolution Lipstick in Matte Back Talk. This is the most comfortable matte lipstick and because of the shape you can really get a good cupid's bow. But I do like going in and lining last. So we are just going to go back in with the Rimmel Lip Liner and just crisp up that lip line so it's got lipstick sealed in, it's not going to be any smudging and we're just going to have that crisp lip that is always nice thing to have, to have that perfect lip. And lip lining last always just kind of seals it in that little bit, a bit more longevity, I find. Then I'm just going to set my face with MAC Fix Plus. Obviously, I wasn't going out that day. I just needed to kind of take away any excess powderiness to the skin because MAC Fix Plus doesn't actually extend the wear of your makeup. It just kind of brings everything into place. So that is the look I've created with my products from the Ride or Die tag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
this is one of my kind of go-to looks just a really neutral eye with a little bit of the plummy burgundy shades soft contour exposed a glowy cheek and then a neutral lip i'll see you guys in my next video hope you enjoyed bye guys